Hey everyone, Jersey Posner here with Up Close Travel. We hope you get up close with the world's greatest destinations. Today I'm sailing on the Seven Seas Grandeur with Regent Seven Seas. It's a wonderful, magnificent ship. We're gonna take a ship tour of the entire ship. We're gonna start on deck four, and we're gonna start in the front, going back and then up. Right now we're in the Constellation Theater, so we're gonna start here. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about Regent, about the Seven Seas Grandeur, or anything travel, I'm always available. Let's go ahead, let's start with the ship tour. Okay, so we're starting on the lowest deck, deck four, uh, towards the front. So we're gonna go front to back and we're gonna go up, but here in the front of the ship is the Constellation uh, Theater. So here you have high performance Broadway type shows on this, at this very beautiful theater. Nice plush seating, comfortable seating, great shows. You have a great stage there and here's the theater it's a double deck theater so you have entrances on deck four and five so let's take a look at give you a wide angle of the theater from the stages perspective we uh saw a show last night fantastic you can have a drink set of these comfortable chairs and enjoy a wonderful show. Stairs to go upstairs. Okay, so as we exit Constellation Theater, um, so the Seven Seas Grandeur, 746 guests, 548 crew members, so a uh, smaller ship. It's uh, wonderfully decorated, as you can see. Very light, very bright uh, ambiance here. So here we are at the atrium. So this is kind of the heart of the ship here. This is on the fourth deck. There's fourth and the fifth, which we'll see in a moment. But you have shops on both sides, which are closed right now. I'm doing this early in the day before the crowds get up. So I'm gonna look up at this great, beautiful chandelier. And then this grand staircase. And if we turn to this side here, we have the casino. So if you're interested in playing some blackjack, some poker, some slots, roulette, this is where you do it. On the opposite side is the grandeur lounge. If you wanna grab some cocktails before you head over to the show, this is where you can do it. They do have a stage here as well, so Last night they had performances going on, live music till late in the night. Again, very comfortable seating and a beautiful bar. This is a great room. As we go towards the back of the ship, we have Compass Rose. This is their main dining area. And this is their largest specialty restaurant. Lots of different choices, seafood, steaks. Uh, they have things that you can order the same every day. Um, and then they have chef specials by day, wine. Really nice setting. And that is Compass Rose. So what I'll do now is I will head upstairs and meet you guys on deck five. on deck five that's the constellation theater deck five towards the front and that's the second deck so we've already seen that so now we're gonna head towards the back and here we are in the atrium here but if we look to the right here this is the um, business center so if you don't bring your computer if you want to just leave everything at home you have great laptops you can even print something and uh don't worry about coming on vacation and leaving all your stuff at home because in case you need it you have it so here's that atrium here's the general manager's office to the right here and here if you have any issues anything you want to talk to the general manager here about you can do so here just next to him or her is the <clears throat> This is for shore excursions, so if you have any questions or if you want to book your shore excursions, you could do that over here. 
some nice open seating here again very bright reception and concierge on the opposite side and before we move on here is the Fabergé egg that they have on display here Beautiful. Some more open space, lots of open space, lots of public space. So if you want to just get a coffee, get a drink and just kind of do your own thing, you can do that in lots of different areas here. Here we are approaching to the right, the coffee connection. So you can grab coffee here at any time. So they're, they're here all day, all night. You have some pastries, cereals. So if you don't wanna go get a full breakfast, you can do that here. And sit indoors. You can also sit outdoors. Before we go outdoors, here is the, here's the barista you can grab any type of specialty coffee that you like. Okay, and it is very windy. Hope you guys can hear me, but here's a little area outside. So you can get your coffee and come outside. And we are doing this early in the morning. So there is the sunrise. We're heading south. Opposite the coffee connection, yeah. If you want to put some puzzles together, you can do that here. Two tables full of puzzles, and then another lounge here, another comfortable big lounge. You have a full bar, and of course, live music. So, you have a band, piano. on the same deck that the theater is in. So if you want to grab a drink before or after, this is where you'd go. Some nice artwork. Let's go wider here. And here we are approaching Pacific Rim, so a nice big cherry blossom tree that invites you in. Pacific Rim is Pan-Asian cuisine, so foods from Thailand, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, Chinese food. Very nice space here. Beautiful lampshades. Lots of plants and interested in duck, dim sum. So on the, so that's the port side as we're approaching the starboard side towards the aft, this is the Spa and Wellness Center. So Serene Spa and Wellness. Here is the salon. Pedicure with a view. Okay, so the here we are at the back part of the spa. So you have two jacuzzis on either side. And then you have some loungers and then you have this great nice big whirlpool. As you go through the men's room, I don't want to record through there, but if you go through the men's locker room, you have a cold room, a sauna and an aromatic 
uh, suite as well. So showers, men's stuff to, to, to shower and get ready, uh, and also those sauna, cold room, and uh, a uh, aromatic spa, which will actually look pretty interesting. And then if you go through here, this is a, just a lounging area here. You have some water or tea that you can take outdoors or, and then here you have treatment rooms that leads you outside. But if you have some treatment rooms here, let's see if we can open up one of these. Yes, we can. Here's what a treatment look, room looks like. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, here we are on deck six and here is the gym. So if you wanted to stay fit, stay healthy on your cruise, you can. And I'll let me tell you something, the food here is fantastic. I've had a few, several meals here so far and if you want to eat clean and healthy, you can do it here. The food is prepared amazingly. There's, it's not greasy, fatty foods. It's clean, healthy, very delicious. So you have a weight area and then you have a aerobic area. So that is the gym. Six, deck six, seven, eight, and nine all have rooms. So we're gonna skip to 10. However, six, seven, eight, and nine do have laundry service, laund laundrettes. Hi. So six, seven, eight, nine rooms and laundry center. See you on deck 10. Okay, so here we are on deck 10. So if we're facing forward, the bridge is towards the front and then you have rooms that go towards the aft. So six, seven, eight, and nine have all rooms. Deck 10 has most rooms, but there are two restaurants in the back. And before we go there, I just want to point out the detail throughout the entire ship. Marble flooring, the glass, just really, they paid really good attention to all the detail around the ship. You know, the elevator areas, the elevators, just a uh, magnificent, luxurious ship. You'll see it once, once you board. Chartreuse. This is French inspired cuisine. So French bistro, caviar, truffles, <clears throat> escargot. Design is 1925 Paris. Nice Art Deco design here. Lots of space. So this is the special re specialty restaurant, Chartreuse. Most of these you're going to need to uh, get a reservation. So make sure you have reservations before, before you board or as you board. Head over to the concierge and make your reservations right away. Now, if we go to the opposite side, we have Prime 7. It, this is the Great American Steakhouse. So, so nice decor here also. And this is New York City, 1900s. You can get your porterhouse, filet mignon, strip steak. They also have seafood ton of other options. So <clears throat> region seven seas, all inclusive. Everything is included in your rate, all your meals, all your beverages, all your shore excursions. There are some shore excursions that you'll pay a little extra for if you wanted to choose those special, special ones, but there are uh, tons that you can choose from that are included. Gratuities, Wi-Fi, everything is included, including airfare. So business class air, if you're flying across the pond and domestic is um, coach. Let's head up to 11. Here we are on deck 11 towards the front and this is the observation lounge. This is a great big space as you can see here. There's also a bar here so as well as a piano so you have live music again look at all 
the detail here that they put out. I mean, it's just a, a great space. So live music, have a cocktail, have some food. And you're up high, facing forward, so great views. You can see the ports you're entering, ports you're leaving. This is the observation lounge. Now, Connoisseurs Club. Comfortable leather seating. This is your cigar bar. Nice selection of cigars. And of course, you can sip a Hennessy, a Macallan single malt scotch, or some whiskey at the Connoisseur Club. I quickly walked by another area here. This is the card room. I think that they have some things going on in here for now, but you can play bridge. They have board games, card games. They even have tournaments, which would be held here. So just next to the observation lounge, you have card room and the connoisseurs club. We have the library and this is a one of my favorite rooms. I love to read, but most ships or a lot of ships have one wall or two walls of books. Here you're gonna get an actual library. As you can see, lots of books, lots of space. Comfortable chairs, great sights. Lots and lots of books to choose from. So if you want to kick back by one of those great comfortable public space areas that have the seating or you want to head to the pool, which we're going to see in a little bit with the book, that's a good idea. Okay, so now as we head towards the middle of the ship, oh, before we go there, we have the arts kitchen. So if you're interested in taking a cooking class or a cooking demonstration, you can do so here now. Um, it's locked here, but I do have a video that I could go through right now. Um, we have 18 have stations here. What's the first question? What do you think about Italian cuisine? So today, uh, if, I think you, if I take you to Ireland, what's the first question? What do you think? There's a table, right? <laughs> so those two ingredients, right? They must be all raw ingredients, but our guest here knows they're not. These were discovered by the explorers of the New World, right? 1492, Columbus did what? It wasn't until later that we took those ingredients back to Europe and radically changed Mediterranean cuisine. So when we do this class next week, next week our new world Mediterranean class, we're going to explain that. We're going to teach that. Then we're going to have guests come up. We're going to walk. Okay, so that was the culinary kitchen. Amazing. Definitely what makes me want to uh, participate in one of the classes and excursions as well. So. I think that's a fantastic excursion to take. Anyway, here we are. Uh, this is the pool deck. So you have the infinity pool. You have two jacuzzis on the opposite side. You have a DJ that would be playing here. You have a, the pool bar opposite side. Some great loungers. Sun is coming up here which we'll see in a second because we're going to go up to the next deck after we get through with, with this one. And then once we, right next to the pool is the pool grill. So this is where you're going to get a lot of different options from pizza to salads to sandwiches to, uh, and here in the morning right now they have some cereal set up but breakfast they'll be setting up probably really soon and you have more seating here
Okay, so here we have La Veranda. So this is actually set up as, let me just make sure that, this is set up as two different options. So it's La Veranda during the day and some parts are La Veranda at night. So you can have breakfast, lunch, dinner here. But in the evening, it's Setamari, which is an Italian uh, restaurant, which I'll be dining at today. So I'll make sure to put some videos or some photos out of my meal there. But yeah, so Set Amare, which is classic Italian, modern Italian, great mo uh, Italian restaurant. And then during the morning, it's a great big breakfast area. At lunch, it's a lunch area, but so La Veranda. And there's also seating in the back outside, actually. So we'll take a look. But you got indoor seating. Hello, good morning. morning. And then let's take a peek outside. So if you wanted to sit outside, we are here on deck 11 aft. So this is La Veranda. And at night becomes Seda Mari. So take a quick walk through here. See what they're cooking up. Lots of breakfast options here, wow. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. Okay, so that is, morning, deck 11. Let's head up to deck 12, I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are on deck 12. Um, I had some audio issues, sorry about that. But here we are, so this is the fitness area. So if you wanted to skip the gym and you wanted to be more outdoors, you can jog around the track. You can also walk around the track. Here's a uh, golf range, so you can shoot some, uh, shoot some golf here as well. Shuffleboard. Mini golf here, so there's, here's uh, hole one, so there's nine holes, so it goes all the way around the back of the ship here. And the one of the most popular sports, pickleball. So a lot of ships have to uh, find room for it, but since this is a newer ship, new ship, so they have a designated area here. And here on the other side is the hole nine of the mini golf course. Croquet is over here, cornhole as well. So this is deck 12. And there is one more deck, deck 14. There's no, there's no deck 13, but there is a deck 14 up top. And as you can see here, but there are only rooms up there, including the Regent Suite. So the Regent Suite's 4,500 square feet. It's fantastic, yep. And I'm gonna have a separate video tour of that Regent Suite. This is the Seven Seas Grandeur, wonderful, ship and it's a wonderful morning here with a nice sunrise great area up here to lounge as well they have a little overhang so you can take a break from the sun as well so if you can't find a spot by the by the pool which there's a lot of space down there too but if you want to get away from from that you can do so here so we're back here in miami now i had a wonderful time sailing on the seven seas grandeur sad to be going home but it was a uh, spectacular time. The food is fantastic. The suite was very luxurious. Uh, the service impeccable. Um, I have no doubts that you will love Regent as much as I did. Uh, but if you have any questions about Regent, about Seven Seas Grandeur, anything travel, I'm always around. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.